Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Guild Wars 2 Theory Crafting video. This video will actually be my Warrior Dual Axe Offensive build, focusing on high crit and good sustainable damage. Now for my traits, I went 20 in strength, 30 in arms for the increased precision since this is a crit build, and 20 points in discipline, getting the increased critical damage by 20% and the added critical damage to my eviscerate. Now for the strength, out of the strength trait, uh, tree, I grab Berserker's Power, giving me the increased damage per stage of adrenaline with a maximum of 12%, of course. And I grab my Axe Mastery. Since I am focusing on the, the one hand axe, which gives me a added 10% damage buff. Now, for arms, I grab rendering strikes, give me the 33% uh, percent chance to add vulnerability to the target, which stacks with my on your marks, well, on my mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also grab my furious uh, reflection, which gives me fury if I'm hit for more than 20% of my health. And last chance, which I gained quickened, well, quickness for four seconds uh, after the target had hit 25% of his health. Uh, I like this over Frenzy because it means that uh, when I basically prop the effect when the target's about to die as opposed to taking up a space on my bar. Uh, I discipline, I gained heightened focus, which gives me 2% critical hit chance each stack of adrenaline. And I grab sharpened axes, giving me the increased uh, adrenaline every time I crit, which is what makes this build possible because I'm going to be constantly critting. All right, so to show you guys and make, so you can see it on action before we get started, of course, I'm running dual axes as my main uh, with the shield as an offhand for its defensive capabilities, such as the stun on your number four and the block for your number five in case uh, you need to block anyone's burst damage. Uh, for my skills, I'm running a healing surge, which I find a better heal because uh, with three stages of um, adrenaline, I'm healing myself for almost 9K. And I mean, mending's nice for the condition, remove two conditions when you use it. But I feel like I, you know, the heal, the increased healing is a lot more helpful. Um, also running Bull Charge, which is a good initiator uh, into a fight. Uh, so you can Bull Charge in, hit on your mark for the, well on my mark, so they get the vulnerability and then you can uh, hit your Whirling Strikes with your two hand axis for some really good uninterrupted damage since the Bull Charge knocks them down for two seconds. Uh, I'm also using Endure Pain which uh, makes me invulnerable for five seconds. And Signet of Rage, which gives me five stacks of might on top of Fury and Swiftness. And that's up every 60 seconds. All right, so let's see how, let's, let's beat up these test dummies so you guys can get an idea of how the damage is. And as you can see, I'm, I'm critting a whole lot, which is applying a bleed effect on the target from the, the arms tree. And the bleeds aren't enough. I have I didn't focus much on uh, condition damage. This is all sustained uh, crit damage. So it's basically giving you a good high auto attacks and skill attack damage. Now remember, every time you crit, because you're critting so frequently, you're going to be applying the vulnerability on the target. All right, we're going to activate the signet so you guys can see how the damage increased. Uh, look at that, 6k on your whirling strikes. Okay, so, alright, there we go, some 2k's. So, as you can see, the, the, the crits are, are really consistent. So, you, this isn't like you're, you're critting every once in a while. No, this is a consistently uh, critting build. And there was the whirling strikes on multiple targets. Now, 
down. If it's zero eight, because you got the the trait from the discipline, that alone is doing about the same damage as uh, your whirling strikes. And as you can see, the adrenaline bar is almost always full. Now with the shield on, as you can see, there's no drop in how much damage I'm outputting. Not to mention that your number 4 spell is a stun for the target. It's only one second, nothing real big, but it can stop people. But at brief moments, so you can get back on them, hit your, your 3 spell to slow them down, and then commence to, you know, take them out. Now the beautiful thing about this is because of the trait from the Discipline Tree, you're always going to have your adrenaline pool. Now in the case that you don't like on my mark, you can always swap that out since you're already applying uh, applying vulnerability to a target. So you can pick up battle stance if you're, well balance stance if you feel like people are knocking you down too much and that gives you disability. Or you can pick up Rampage instead of the Signet. Uh, but Rampage is different since it changes your 1 through 5 and it has its own movesets. So I'll probably do a different video on that. Now, our damage is looking pretty nice. We're at 3K, over 3K attack with a 52% critical chance with a 62% critical damage. So it's you, you're doing really good damage. Now, unlike the Guardian, which when I did the offensive build, I only on about 16k. I'm at 22k here with the Warrior. So you're able to fight for a lengthy period of time. You have a, a better heal in my book. Uh, most people tend to take the, the mending over it. So um, hope you guys enjoyed, and there'll be a link in the description for the PvP video. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys soon.